Hi, I'm JT Smith of Supershoots.com, giving you a quick tip on Portrait Pro 12 Studio Edition. Now, the Studio Edition does allow you to run it as a plugin inside Adobe Photoshop, and that's what this tutorial is about. So let's get started. If you're running Studio Edition of Portrait Pro, the first thing you want to do in Photoshop is to duplicate a layer. This is your original image here, and then the duplicated layer right here. Now after that, you're good to go to go ahead and launch the plugin Portrait Pro. Once Portrait Pro loads inside Photoshop, go ahead and fine tune your parameter points to define the subject's face and features. After making your selection points to define the subject's face and features, you'll want to move over here to the presets. Now I have standard set as my default preset on program launch. Now if I reset to the original image, it's a great opportunity to look down here and see if there's any imperfections I can take care of with the touch up brush. If you notice, I just have my brush size on 10 and my brush strength on 30. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to clean up some little light acne marks here. And I'm really going to just go down and dirty and take care of some. And as you see, it does a really nice job here of blending uh, that into the original skin. There's a little pigment change here and I'm just going to blend that in as well. So it does a nice job there. There's a little freckle mark up here and a freckle down here that I can easily blend into. There's a little white speck above the eyebrow. I'm just going to blend that in. I'm not going to spend too much time there. I don't want to diffuse the eyelashes anymore. So right here, I'm just going to work on this little modeling area coming on in here. Let me see if I can blend that together. And I'm doing that nicely. I just don't want to do too much destruction here. I just want to go in and clean up some acne and light imperfections. With that said, I think I'm ready to go back into uh, the presets here. And let's make a selection. Now if I was to go to female standard and just come out of that and toggle back and forth you're going to see a perspective change and that's called a sculpt and you know inside the sculpt preset. So I'm going to choose female no sculpt because I don't want any morphing going on. I'm going to keep the same perspective because uh, I'm going to be blending with the portrait pro layer and the original layer back in Photoshop. So uh, I don't need any perspective changes there. Now below the uh, presets here, you will see the portrait improving sliders. And this is where you're going to make your fine tune adjustments here with whatever preset that you selected. Now since I've selected no sculpt, I'm going to come down here and look at face sculpt controls. And you'll notice that's in the off position. And that's what we want. I'm going to be working with the skin smoothing controls, which in my opinion is the most important adjustment to make throughout any presets that you might select up here. If I take the master fade all the way to the left, you're going to see no skin smoothing. If I take it all the way to the right, you're going to see skin smoothing on steroids and it looks fake and plastic. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to toggle this back and forth and you're going to see some adjustments underneath the eyes and everything else. But you're also going to see uh, this little thing here. Now that's coming from this point here and then this shadow right in through here. So that's just kind of a thing that's happening that I don't want, but I can easily fix that by blending the layer back in Photoshop. So I'm not going to worry about too much. I really want to pay attention to my happy point over here because everything here is about being happy. So I'm going to choose 20 right here. And I think that's great. It retouches underneath the eyes, takes care of some minor imperfections, but yet leaves some texture to the skin. And so I want to be as real as possible. And now if I flip back and forth, I'll see my adjustments so far and see where I'm going. And I'm kind of liking where I'm going. So let me close out of these skin smoothing controls here. I'm going to move down to the skin lighting controls. Now I very seldom use that. I believe in getting it right in camera. But in this particular case, we were in the sunflower field about midday. So I had to use a portable strobe above my camera axis. And um, I really thought that it kind of, uh, if you notice on the left, the original image there, it's kind of in a flat lighting situation. So in the case of this tutorial and uh, that situation, let's just turn this 
this on and let's just go play with the skin lighting controls and make some adjustments here. Now I will control this a little bit and widen this out a little bit. Uh, I might want to add some um, some dimension here, just some burning and stuff. And if I did that in Photoshop, that might take me some time, but I'm just going to do it with this preset adjustment here. And uh, But usually try to keep it within the eyes, nose, and lips right underneath there. But if I was to move this around, you can kind of see over here in the preview pane here uh, that uh, what is doing there so it's just kind of moving it around and stuff like that so anyway I'm going to keep it right back there I'm going to open it up a little bit and while I'm in skin lighting controls uh, I really love to use this smoky eye feature here. If I just punch that up a little bit, you're going to notice up in this area up in here uh, that uh, it's going to make some adjustments and it's going to punch that up a little bit. Now, if you're working with a subject um, and that has no makeup artistry applied at all, uh, you might want to play with this feature just a little bit and try to punch that up a little bit. And same thing with the cheekbones. If you want to define some cheekbones here, you can just kind of give that a little punch. Now, if you go too dramatic, it looks like she's in a boxing match, and we don't want that. So just kind of toggle this and play this lightly here and just kind of punch up uh, some of the cheekbones. And um, just it might add some dynamics to it, and it uh, might help you along. Now with that said, I think I'm good here, and I'm going to go up here and compare uh, between my original image again and what I've got going on so far. Now I've also noticed that the lighting preset here has caused kind of like a little shadow underneath the nose, and I really don't want that. Now if I wanted to just try to adjust that, I'll just fine tune my points over here and see if I can help that along. That's, this is why it's really important here to make these adjustments here so it comes back in and so the program knows what to do. So if I was to take this down, you're going to see the shadow kind of butterfly lighting, so to speak, and kind of play with that over there on the right as you can see that. So that's where that's coming from. So let me just adjust that a little a little up here and then just go back kind of into the uh, original shadowing here so I'm not adding anything there. And so that was a nice tip there if you really see that and cause problems. Just make sure that your parameter points uh, are ideal here before you come into your preset and then make your fine tune adjustments just to understand what's going on. Now as far as the eye controls are concerned, uh, the only thing that I mess with here pretty much if I like everything that Portrait Pro did with the eyes is I will mess with the sharpen eyebrows. Because I did some skin smoothing, I just kind of want to punch the edges up and it helps that uh, around there, especially when you have the skin kind of blending in through the eyebrows. So that's pretty much all I will mess with there. The mouth and nose controls, I, I'll tend to use that in the layers. I'll just blend the mouth back and forth and, and that. If you notice, it made the lips a little darker. And I can go in here, especially if I was in the standalone program, I would be spending some time in here, maybe trying to fine tune the lips. But for the most part, I like to just blend uh, the por Portrait Pro layer with the original layer when it comes to the lips. And I'll show that further on in the tutorial. Let me just double check this a little bit and let's get right back into Photoshop. And to do that, here you have a return from plugin and this will launch you back into your Photoshop program. Hey, now that we landed back into Photoshop, I want to do some blending from the original image uh, back and forth through the uh, Portrait Pro, okay? I want to fix this problem right here that was kind of an aberration uh, from the uh, um, skin smoothing technique that we were doing from these points here and then uh, just kind of made that little uh, problem area opacity change right there. So I want to be able to blend that back. I also want to kind of compare what the original lips look like compared to what Portrait Pro did uh, and the opacity adjustment or the levels there are concerned. So I kind of want to do some blending. Okay, in order to blend, I need to create or I need to add um, a layer mask, okay? So I'm going to add a layer mask right here on that Portrait Pro level. Now be careful because if I switch back and forth here and do some crazy things, you're going to see that the image is selected. Now, as I blend back and forth using the brush and everything else on the that, uh, you're going to see that I could be painting, and I don't want to paint, right? So if I don't want to paint, I don't want to click on this. I want to always work in, in the uh, layer mask, and that's going to allow me to blend back and forth using the uh, brush and the 
uh, either black or white here and the opacities are just an opacities and everything else okay so let's move forward I'm gonna fix this area right here I have black selected I had the brush selected and 100% and that's what I want to do is I want to bring and fix the original image up through there uh, because there was a little problem there as we were just in the skin smoothing so no problem I'm going to choose a brush size that's going to fit right in there no problem and I've already done that so let's get started I'm going to go about right here I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag and I'm going to paint that area right there on that mask okay now I've gone too far what if I go too far you know and I've done all that and I screwed all of that no problem just switch to the white and just kind of paint back over over that area and get back to where you was and uh, back and forth so that's how you can kind of um, you know uh, bring back uh, the portrait pro layer and switch into white but I want to I want to hide this area I want to show this original image coming up through there okay so let me slow down a little bit I just kind of wanted to go crazy there just so I can really confuse you right from the start now I'm kidding I am just wanted to show you that you can work effectively back and forth all right let's come right here I'm on black 100% I'm just gonna fix that area right there I'm gonna click and hold and paint and there you see if I switch back and forth you're gonna see how I just corrected that area alone right there and all I've done was brought part of that image up through the layer mask and I'll reveal that and fix that no problem let me switch back and forth so you can see that and there you go okay alright moving on to the lips or I'm right here I'm black 100% I'm ready to go I'm just gonna mask that out right there on the lips you kind of see the original lips there and if I flip back and forth you're gonna see the portrait pro lips and the original lips and I go whoops okay alright I'm kinda of wanna see in between so once you're here in this progression just come back up to white uh, choose 50% and then bring some of that portrait pro layer back in so by doing that I'm just gonna paint over here and mask that and so now what am I doing I'm just simply bringing back 50% of this portrait pro layer and I'm doing that right here in the layer mask so that's going to allow me to visualize uh, that 50% opacity adjustment right here so 50% okay there is the original lips and that is the portrait pro layer okay so as I can switch back and forth in that progression you can kind of see and maybe make a determination uh, right here now let's say I just landed back into Photoshop okay all right and there's the portrait pro layer right there let's say I just come back in out of the plugin and I'm ready to work in Photoshop and so the progression that I want to do is a 50% right off the bat so go to black brush and then 50% okay so these are the portrait pro lips and I just want to see what 50% reduction looks like okay so what are we going to do we're gonna mask here at the 50% opacity rate and now we have the portrait pro lips and now we have 50% okay now what we've done is we've taken back 50% of this layer right here and we are exposing part of the uh, original image right there through the mask and that's allowing that 50% adjustment there okay by doing that so instead of full on bore we just went 50 percent and there you go okay alright so that's that adjustment there in this progression now let's say we want to go to 100 percent no problem just come right up here and go to 100 percent come back here to the lips and you're gonna mask around there by painting at 100 percent and now we're gonna have a hundred percent view and so now what we've done is we've allowed hundred percent of the lips from the original image to come up through the mask and be seen so now we have the portrait pro lips we have 50 percent bleed and now we have uh, of the original lips just like that so we can kind of go back and forth and try to make our selection and I'm still going to choose the 50% blend okay now the, they're they're all fine but in for the for the case of this tutorial I just really like the 50% so that is how you can kind of blend back and forth okay now let's take a look at the eyes let's go back we're at 100% on the black here and we're on the portrait pro um, mask here and so we're just going to allow the original eye to come up through and the mask and as you can see the pupils kind of lost in the iris from that bright sunny day and that sunflower field and portrait pro did a wonderful job in that edit and so of course there are uh, adjustments you can make on the sliders and you can kind of fine-tune this if you want to but I really like the way portrait pro just did it right out of the bat every subject and every situation is going to be different so it's important to uh, fine-tune those sliders guys that's in every preset that you select in every sort of item that you do scale back those presets and stop over processing okay stop over processing your images it looks ridiculous uh, try to get as real as possible and what I mean by that is just fine-tune everything don't just over uh, dramatize if you will the image or just over create or over process or do foolish things because you look stupid when you do that so scale everything back fine-tune everything get into industry standards and just you know go go to work and and so 
but I hate post-production work. So anything I can do to speed up that process, uh, I just come right into the studio edition of Portrait Pro. It takes care of a few things for me, and then I can further blend by working in a layer in Photoshop with that technique that I just shown. Hey, that's going to end the tutorial uh, right here. I hope this benefited you. I hope it speeds up your post-production workflow. Remember to scale back those controllers on those presets in Portrait Pro. And when you use the Studio Edition as a plugin in Photoshop, it's a powerful combination to further blend as I just um, uh, shown here. So uh, take that in mind. And subscribe to our YouTube channel here at Supershoot61. We are going to be having more tips and tricks down the road. With that said, if you need to take your photography to the next level, check out supershoots.com. Hey, until the next tutorial, take care.